Hello friends, welcome back to the new tutorial of the Node.js. Today we are going to learn about how to create the REST API with cloud operations using the Node.js Firebase real-time database. Those who haven't subscribed my channel yet, please do subscribe my channel and if you like the video, please do like, share and comment on my video. Let's get started. So basically I'm going to use the real-time database. So here we have the real-time database. So here we go with this one. This is Firebase. This is real-time database. So I'm going to use this one. Okay, so whenever we try to update anything, so it will go over there, right? So create the database. And just do the next and the next. Test mode or the lock mode. So I will go with the text mode. Enable. Okay, now we have this. Okay, so how we can use it? Let's dive into the code level. So first of all, we have to create the directory and all. So let's open the terminal. CD var whtml node. So we'll go with this make directory firebase crud. Okay, so what will the next step? Go to that folder. Initialize with the package.json file with this. Okay. Next, let's open the code base. I need to open the code with the VS code. Okay. So let's go with the installation with this NPM packages. So let's install this NPM packages. Firebase admin express body parser. Okay. Now we have to create the file which name to be firebase config.js okay so let's create this so here we go with this one let's create the firebase config.js and put the code over here nvm use node 20 because that's very important okay firebase config then we have to go with this one so I will use the test account file over there. Path, we have to add the service account file. So where is the, um, let me go with the Python project and I have this service account file. Testing service account file. So if you don't know how to create it, so you have to go with our project settings, project settings and uh, service accounts. So here you can create a new file from there. Okay, so I'm going to use my previous one with the HTML node Firebase CRUD F Firebase CRUD. Let's paste our file and let's I'm going to take the path over there. So this is the file that I'm going to use it. Database name that I have to go with this one. So here you can generate a new key pair, right? So it will give you the JSON file that I have already. What else we have? Let's go and just get the database. So have a real-time database and I need to just this path to copy paste this. Copy this link and paste it over here. Okay, this is done. Right. Next, we have to create a new file that is server.js for the main file right so let's copy paste this main code over there and let's create the crud operations okay so here we go with the firebase config we have added body parser express so first one that is create whatever the body i will send it will create push the data and then log that data created successfully otherwise it will give me the error then we have a read okay so we'll go with the read one then update then delete Okay, let's go for it. The postman, let's open it. Node server.js, let's open this project, uh, open with the terminal, run the server. We have a post. We can also send the data like this also. So I will just use with HTTP localhost. 
localhost and we will go with post request and make a body request with draw json let's add it so would add a name anything you can just go with it so here we put name rajnikant we put next one that is um we can take about the email rajnikant90 at the rate mailinator.com something you can add okay so name and the email we will add okay and let's try to send this one so there is an issue that the route is wrong because this is upload right so let's check the route that is create okay so let's copy paste and add this create route let's try to send it data created let's have a look data real time we don't know to refresh or something right data so this is email and the name okay done next okay otherwise you will get also the reference with id also here you can print the id also right the next one that i want to read the data okay with the get request so here i need to just put the read and i need the id of this one so this is our id So this is our ID that I need to copy and paste this copy slash read. Okay, make a get request params required and you here we go with the data. Okay, so this is the read request. Here you can see read ID. So the reference data. So request the parameters. We have to just pass the parameters params because data is already we have added right. Then once value, then return the snapshot. Okay. If something goes wrong, then we will put the status with the error. Then we have to go with the update, same. So here I will do with the update. ID is already there. Make a put request. I will update Rajnikanth. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Send it. There is an issue. Here we have to add the update. I suppose. Data updated. Real time. Here you can see Rajnikanth 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 already updated and don't need to refresh the data. Right. Next, we have a delete. So on the behalf of ID, I'm going to delete that one. OK, so this option is remove. The previous one is the update. OK, whatever data I'm going to send, it will update it. Right. So let's try to add the delete one. So here we will make a delete request and the ID is already there and just put the delete over here in the params. In the routes and let's take it and relate data is deleted it's null okay so this is how you can perform the CRUD operations using the firebase real-time database in the node.js any doubt any query in that do let me know in the comment section thank you so much for watching this video have a great day and don't forget to like share and comment on my video have a nice day